Hi, welcome to this PowerPoint tutorial. This time we're going to be finishing the last in this three series videos. That's right, this is the third of a third series. So it's the third one, so we get the idea. Um, so the first one we looked at about creating a PowerPoint quiz, and we just did that basically online as well, how to put that quiz online. The second one, we looked at how to get interaction back, basically get feedback. So people, when you get, when they gave answers, they said you, um, they filled it out using Microsoft Forms, and then you could collate that information back into an Excel spreadsheet. Um, so the third one, we're going to address a little problem. And what's the problem? Well, um, just have a quick look here. If you, um, I've got this form here, um, this uh, appeared on the page basically here. Uh, when I went to open up my um, office, and then I went to my forms here, and then you saw my various Microsoft forms available. Uh, remember we had the crazy animals, so what animals were real, what animals were fake, you, you get the idea. So the, the problem is, is when you go to click on this here and you go to the fake animals and the responses, you go to open this in Excel. So you can see that there we go to open it in Excel. It downloads it as separate files. So say friends, if I went to open in Excel and then I can see Excel here and then I've got like, okay, one response here. Um, yeah, that looks, that looks quite good. Uh, actually in the real world, when I create them, let's just try this one here for the love of animals. Let's try that one there. If I go to responses, then I go to open in Excel and it opens it Excel. It generally, what will happen is it will automatically download. Can you see there? So because I've got five responses, it's saying for the love of animals, one to five, and eventually it all comes in as separate files. But what we're going to do this time is show you how to get the responses collated all together in a single Excel file. This is computer tutoring. Great, okay, so I think we're aware of the problem here. So there's a few steps to this and it's quite straightforward. And again, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Give this a thumbs up. I don't know why you'd give it a thumbs up right now. You're just at the beginning of the video. So just wait until you, I've answered your question. And if you think I've answered it to your satisfaction, give us a thumbs up. If not, then try not give us a thumbs down. Just give us a suggestion. That'd be great. Um, and I will see if we can in incorporate this. Now, I will warn you that this is a little bit fiddly. It doesn't seem that Microsoft has implemented um, this, especially with quizzes, mm -hmm. PowerPoint quizzes. I don't think Microsoft has done this. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's have a look um, at our um, form. So say, for instance, we've done our forms in Microsoft and you've done the craziest animals here. Before you actually create your PowerPoint presentation or attach the form to your PowerPoint presentation, I strongly recommend that you would um, uh, create the form first. So what do I mean by that? So what I would do is go online here to my Microsoft Forms. So here we are on Microsoft Forms. I'm going to click on Forms just at the top here. Um, which will go there, or you can click on the top here and then just type in www.office.com, do all your signing in, etc. Once you've found that, then you can go to Microsoft Forms. Plus there's a nice little widget here as well, which you can download. So if I go to Microsoft Forms, here's the forms that I'm doing here to create the form first. And in fact, actually, before we create the form first, there's a bit I've forgotten, we do that within Excel. So if we go back to our home, I'm gonna click on Excel and we're gonna click on a new workbook here. So obviously, if you haven't got Office 365, you know, the online version of Excel, this isn't going to work. All right. So what do I do next? Well, if you just look and you see the insert tab just here, if you give that a click and then you see you've got forms just here, give that a click um, and then it will insert a new form and then it opens up Microsoft Forms in a new window. Um, and then you can put in a new form basically here. Not that one there. That's it. This here. Now, the key to this is if you just start typing a quiz, like say for instance, you say uh, any old quiz, the problem is this is already just a normal form, yeah? So when I go to add new and then go to add choice and stuff, I don't get correct or incorrect answers. If you look, you can see that is totally blank. There's no ticks there whatsoever. But what I found with a little jiggery pokery is if you look at the name of a past quiz, so if I go to my old forms here and say I've got more crazy animals or 
the craziest animals here. If I go back and give that this name, let's say more crazy animals, and then I click on add new, it then remembers the questions, yeah, that I used in the previous quiz, yeah? So the quizzes that we created beforehand in PowerPoint, and I'll give you the link at the top here so you can click back and go to see how you would create that form or the quiz form and integrate it with PowerPoint, because you really need to do that to understand this. But basically, these are the questions of, of that I've got. So I can say, yeah, that's great. It remembers them. I don't know what this little symbol means. It's probably this little bit of artificial intelligence flash fill or something like that, but it's something we need Microsoft. So it might be something that you could automatically incorporate. I'd be really mad if I get that video out and it's only a week later you update it everyone else will be happy though but i won't but here we go all right let's click on add all shall we so that's that add all button just here and then we can add those questions to the quiz basically so here we go there's my uh barrel eyed fish is it real or fake is this real or fake i think mean, you know there there's a is this real or fake uh, you know that type of thing so um yeah great now the beauty of this is once you've got the questions uh here then um, yeah, you can then go and you can make your changes. In fact, like for instance, with this one here, I might need to change the donkey just because uh, it's not actually a real donkey to be able to see this in its full glory. You can see that it's actually uh, <laughs> half a donkey. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in this way, then you can just adjust the questions. Uh, if you need to make another question like this one here, I can click on here and then I can click on copy to duplicate the question. Uh, and then I can know and maybe let's delete that picture on my new one and then just add in another picture on my just up my OneDrive. And I think I had leisure somewhere along here. There we go. And then if I went and found my quizzes, there we go. And then I could find sort of like, uh, there we go the blobfish maybe and add that one in. There we go, the blobfish there comes in and then I can write in my question here, what do you think, I don't know if I can type properly, is this strange looking fish real or fake? And then down here you can then say, real it's the correct answer. Yes, that's right. Fake, yeah, that's not the correct answer. Uh, looks fake, but is really real, is really real. But there we go, see how many points you've got. That's great, and I've got this here, and I can answer all these questions. That's great. Brilliant, okay. Now the beauty of this is, is, is because I've created this inside an Excel spreadsheet, it will then collate all of the information back into that Excel spreadsheet. So if I go down here, if I go to preview and then I just start making choices, let's say that that's, well, that's actually, I think that's real. That one is here. I think that's, I don't know, sort of real and fake maybe. I think this one's real. Here we go. And this is, um, I think this is a pink fairy armadillo. I think that's real as well. Click on submit, that goes. If I come back here, it will automatically, you see that just happened there? It's just filled it directly into this Excel spreadsheet. Just a couple of things to note as well. It's automatically noted my email address here and it's noted here my um, uh, name just here. So it's automatically brought that in, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, it's great. Now that's just saved on my OneDrive. It just saves directly on my OneDrive. I highly recommend that if you're creating this quiz and you want to maybe put your Excel spreadsheet somewhere that you save it somewhere first. So decide where you're going to save it first save it there and then yeah that'd be great so the beauty of this is now i've got this spreadsheet um uh here let's have, if i can say results from la um crazy animals let's put the um name in there that's great uh so now if i've got access to this form here uh, let's just go back here um, i can click on this share button at the top to share it with anybody within my organization and they will be able to access that and i can get their name details and i can get their email address and all that type of stuff uh there which is great uh if however i want to share this quiz with other people then i must remember to go and then go to the settings here like so click on the settings and then just click on that bit at the top that says anyone with the link can respond so make sure that's clicked click away and now um, i can click on if i click on the share here i can copy the link and i can even go to microsoft edge is a browser that i have to say i have to admit i don't actually um use 
all that much there. Oops, sorry, let's just go to the top there, put it in the right location. And there we go, here's our four more crazy animals ready to go. So as a user, I can go down and decide, right, that's real, and that's fake, and that's fake, that's fake, that's real, and click on submit. Yes, that's great. So now if I swap back to my online PowerPoint here, wait for a year and day, and you can see, that even though I've done this from a completely separate browser, the information, the results have been collated together into the same um, Excel spreadsheet. Brilliant. So again, you would just incorporate what I've taught you from the previous two tutorials about this PowerPoint quiz to incorporate that into your PowerPoint presentation. So make sure you check that out. I think that's about it, really. Um, the only other thing with this is you can actually load that up because it's on OneDrive and everything. You can load it um, locally as well. It's really cool, this. So if I just um, go locally here, and then if I just have a quick search for results from crazy animals and maybe i can just um can it does a search on my OneDrive here oh, i've got to type it in again results from crazy here we go this is it here so it'll just download it and open it up in excel so here we go we have got mine in excel here so eventually there we go so here's the form just here See, I've got my results already here. Let's just give this another try. Um, I, I'm gonna open up a new Chrome window here. So let's just go to new window. Uh, and I should hopefully have that link still pasted for the PowerPoint forms that I've shared. There we go, I've shared it with somebody else and they're just having a quick look here and they're saying, okay, uh, yeah, that's good. I think that's fake. Uh, I think that's fake. I think a two-legged donkey's real. I think that's fake and I think that's real. Click on submit. Yeah, that's great. I'm gonna go back to my Excel spreadsheet, wait for a year and a day. One, two, three, put my neck on the block here. There we go, yeah, that's good. I should have put, said hands up, don't even have to see it. Um, don't even have to touch or click on refresh and you can see there, there's the first one. Unfortunately, because I don't have their email addresses and they're not part of my organization, whoever fills that form out that's outside the organization there, um, when I click that link, it comes up as anonymous. So you might need to add in maybe uh, an op, uh, like a, a, a question, which would include, please enter your name uh, in, in, in that way. So that's good, your full name. Great. So there we have it. How to take a, um, oh, just, yeah, how to take basically information from a PowerPoint quiz. Remember, this is the last in the series of these three videos from a PowerPoint quiz. Um, put them into uh, the results into Microsoft Forms. Um, you can obviously use this online as well. So you've seen that in the previous video, so you'll be able to do that. And then how to collate it together into an Excel spreadsheet. So that's um, gonna be the final one for the PowerPoint um, tutorials, just for the time being. Um, I'm just gonna try to go on to do some other stuff as well. So just make sure you subscribe. Uh, so you don't miss out. There's a few questions that some of our and comments that people have made from some of my other tutorials. So uh, I'm just going to want to really want to answer those and see how I can answer those in the best way and obviously in a way that's not been done before. So thanks very much for watching. Please make um, take care as well if you're still under isolation. Um, hopefully it's not for much longer. And take care, guys. See you around.